The third time is still the charm for Fauda. And now, sister show Tehran is already making headlines right out of the gate. It's really a battle. It's really a battle to try and navigate those uh, identities in, in this modern world. And for sure, it deals with that in our series, and I'm, I'm very pleased about that. We interviewed series star Shervin Alanabi, who was born in Iran and lives in England. The actor himself has struggled with finding his place in the world and says the series has been a huge windfall for him. Was, even when I went back to Iran for like a month, uh, after like three weeks, I was like, oh my God, I've, I have like this side of me now, this English side of me now that doesn't quite feel at home here. And in England, I have this like very big Iranian side of myself that I've held on to very... Uh, very strongly, and uh, that doesn't quite feel at home here either. Fauda has been Israel's poster child thriller, and now the series creator and writers have been moonlighting on Tehran. The high octane series tells the story of Tamar Rabin Yan, an undercover female Mossad operative tasked to disable an Iranian nuclear reactor. When we had uh, pictures of uh, the leaders of Iran as part of our set, um, there was, you know, political refugees in uh, Greece who uh, attempted to attack the set um, and threw verbal abuse at us. That's how relevant this series, I think, is um, and the type of emotions it brings up for some people. Israeli series are proving successful on international streaming platforms. And now with Tehran being picked up by Apple TV, Shervin hopes the series will fine-tune the narrative about Iran and the Iranian people. You know, we come from a DNA line of poets, um, and some of the greatest poets come from Iran. So it's in our culture to be expressive, uh, have a lot of feelings. And unfortunately, the self-expression and feelings has been suppressed. Uh, in the recent years, and our image in the media internationally has been tarnished too. And uh, for people of that culture, this I think it, it really hurts them. Uh, but I think with the with uh, obviously Apple signing on as co-producer and like uh, potentially having a very large international audience, I really hope that Iran, uh, for one of the first few times. Uh, feel that they're represented in the in a in a nice and friendly way, in in which they are. Because I think that our image in the international community is so different to to what we actually are. Yeah, and I hope this series boosts tourism. <laughs> Emily Francis, I24 News.